Alright guys, thank you for watching this race and thank you. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project. I'm Psycho again with you today and in this one we're going with one of the most amazing racing and rating experiences that have ever been released through the history of racing games. Yes, you guessed it, um, it's Colin McCray 3rd. It's one of the best and one of the first, I mean, the first, um, a different look on the Colin McCray Rally series actually. Um, it has been released quite a couple of years ago, but when it was released, it was amazing. But to run it, well, if you bought it when it came out, you needed to have a beast of a computer to run this thing. Just because it had such amazing and stunning graphics that actually, I mean, that actually outdated the computers that were out at that time. You either had a beast computer or you played it on like really low graphics. Um, that is why it is still holding up until today as one of the better um, racing rally experiences that has ever been released. The lighting, the effects, the just the graphics all in all are amazing. Um, and when it was released, it was like, I mean, if you didn't have a beast computer, you had problems with your frame rates, which, I mean, they, you can still have them even today. Uh, just because the requirements for this game um, are pretty high, even if it was released back in 2007. Um, you can still have some problems with it, but not as much as you could, you could have had if it were bought um, back in 2007 when computers just kind of didn't support that. Um, but all in all, it is an excellent rally racer. If you love these kind of games, like, even if you love racing games and are not much into rally games, even the the Dirt series is gonna kind of pull you into it. I myself wasn't really much of a rally fan, but when I played this, I actually really fell for it. It was amazing. I, I loved every single minute of racing throughout this, um, this game. Um, pretty much the, the most how should we call it? The, the gameplay thing about the, the dirt um, is pretty much the pyramid career experience um, with a ton of races, each having a different style. I mean, each. Um, I think there are six different um, race types throughout the game, going from easy to ever harder, with the championship being the last one and being pretty much the hardest as the pinnacle of the game. Um, one thing that was actually really well executed throughout the game, um, and pretty much throughout the series as well, not just in this one, but in the following episodes as well, is the heads-up display. The heads-up display is minimalistic, but shows you everything. You can really focus on the on the game and everything, and still have that little thingy, little thingies around the place popping up which kind of remind you of how fast you're going, the mini-map thingy, the distance towards the end, and everything else that kind of comes into a whole completion as a heads-up display for an amazing racer game. Um, <clears throat> the competitive scene for Dirt, when it came out, was actually really, I mean, it was really big. People were like trying to set world records for it, and it was amazing how popular the game was. But as I said, if you didn't have a beast computer, then you pretty much um, you pretty much kind of missed out on everything. As far as the graphics go, as you know, amazing lighting, amazing effects, everything. Even the car damage was really detailed for that time. It was like a next generation game, even back in 2007. Um, and even the damage that you took on the car wasn't just for show. Um, the damage that you took on the car actually got um, transferred to the driving, of the, the handling, the driving of the car, and how I mean how difficult it will be for you to get through. That was also introduced in the previous rallies, so it's kind of a a good thing to it. 
because if only had visual effects like a fully crashed car in a rally and you'd still be able to drive normally, well, that would be just like, it would somehow be weird. Um, but even as far as the gameplay goes, even with the damage and everything, there are still tuning options to kind of pimp out your ride and kind of make it better for a certain track and get it to um, to be adapted to it, or to your driving, either to your driving style or to the track, or actually both of them. That's pretty much for that was pretty much made for those with who who wanted to go more in depth um, of the game and the whole racing experiences. Um, but I mean, it does have some of the flaws, but it is still amazing, and they even upgraded it on the on the next versions. So, I mean, I'm going to recommend this game to all of you guys who love racing games, rally games, stuff like that. It's amazing. It's really a... It's kind of a lifelike experience to how, how it would play out and how it would be if you were driving a real rally car. Especially if you're playing it on a steering wheel simulator or especially a racing simulator. That would be... Um, that would be even better. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of... It's really fun to play, it has amazing graphics, it still disappoints in some aspects of the game, but those are pretty much minimalistic as far as they go for me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me in the next one.